I love you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I just felt like sitting down and chatting to you guys about like my current favorite things. Um, so things that I've been liking over the last few like weeks slash months. Um, like, you know, I don't do monthly favorites as such anymore. So, um, and I quite like it that way actually, because this way, you know, it, it really takes a lot for me to want to talk about each of these things. Like, not that it didn't before, but you know, it was just a lot more fast paced with like trying new things and then like onto the next new thing. So this is it's quite beauty focused. I think it's just gonna be beauty. Just before I start, in case anyone's wondering, my top is from Topshop. I love it, it's so comfortable as well. Um, I'm just wearing these random, I didn't know what to wear on my bottoms, <laughs> but I'm just wearing these like mango, like trousers. And then I love these, I got, I was sent over actually these, um, hair clips from a brand called Taut and I love them, they're so pretty, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, oh and my earrings, uh, these ones are Astrid and Mayu. Before I get into all the products as well, I wanted to say such a huge, huge thank you to you guys for all of your support on my lip products with Bobbi Brown, my hush hush colour. Um, it's been an absolute dream come true and I honestly am like so blown away by the response from you guys like on social media and everything and, and people that I know as well, just like people and family and friends like being so so lovely and supportive. But I just wanted to say thank you, like it's so amazing to have been able to make my own colour. We were in the talks for this for about a year. So it's been like a year of me like knowing about it and like back and forth with like trying to get the color right and everything. Um, like I've got quite a few testers of the like trying to get the color right that I've just kept in my drawer because it's like kind of sentimental. Tasha's color as well, I love it. It's gorgeous and I'm just, yeah, it's been so nice to be able to do it together. So obviously that has to be my first like current favorite. I will link it down below in case you want to get your hands on one because they are limited edition. Um, and thank you to everyone who already has got your hands on one and who has tagged me online. I've loved seeing it on different people and different skin tones. But anyway, let's get into things that I've been loving um, for the last few months. Um, I think there's literally only one, two things in this that are only kind of newer in. The rest of them I've been using for weeks and weeks and weeks. I've got quite a lot of skincare. Like since winter, I've been having like quite a few treatments on my skin, really trying to brighten it up, get rid of scarring. And so I've really been trying to like match my skincare to uh, work well with just like brightening treatments that I've been having. Um, and I haven't wanted to use anything too harsh on my skin as well. So first thing I wanna talk about is this Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser, Moisturizing Cleanser beautiful so i've said that like before i started filming i was like okay try and do this video without just saying like i love it i love it like constantly <laughs> um i need to think of more inventive ways to talk about these products firstly the smell of this oh, i can't believe what is it what is the smell it's like vanilla-y maybe slightly almond sort of smell i might be slightly off there but it's something really like it is but it's a very subtle kind of sweet smell to it and to be honest, most of the time I don't like scented skincare. A lot of the time I feel like they kind of add a bit of clogginess to my skincare, but with this, not at all. So it's got a really light, lovely scent to it. The winter just gone, my skin kind of for the first time went quite dry. Um, and not, I mean dry for me, because you, you, like over the years I'm usually like oily, an oily combination sort of girl. Um, so it was really weird for me to feel my skin go a bit drier. So, and a lot of the time I use oil cleansers anyway, so usually my cleansers are quite moisturizing. And I just hadn't used a good cream cleanser for a long time, I can't think of one. I use this as my second cleanse because it's such a nice gentle soft cleanser. Um, so, I kind of just don't want to waste it for getting my makeup off and I really want to feel the benefits of it on my skin. If you're looking for a cleanser that isn't stripping, and doesn't leave your skin dry, leaves it nice and moisturized, then definitely check this out. Don't, I don't always use a toner. I'm more of like a cleanser, serum, moisturizer sort of girl. But um, the other month I was sent over some products from Ole Hendrickson. None of this is sponsored. This from their collection really has stood out to me. I've loved using this. I'll use a toner if I really love it. Like I won't just use a toner every single day. For me, it doesn't usually make that much of a difference. This is the Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. And um, so I suffer from like hyperpigmentation and scarring from breakouts. 
so I've been loving this because it is it's like a, a chemical exfoliant as well so it helps to get rid of those layers of you know top layers of skin as a result it brightens up your face and helps to get rid of the dark marks and again this has such a nice smell mm, I don't know what it is it's kind of like fruity but again I, I'm not mad on scent on my skin and I feel like this is just like nice and light and kind of uplifting it's not too heavy um, and I've used this quite a few times, it has hardly gone down. <laughs> so next is a serum that I've been using so much that I've actually run out of it. This is now empty, but it's just been hanging around in my bathroom because I keep trying to like get the, I keep trying to like get it in there and get the last bit of it out. And then they've actually sent me over a, a refill and I'm so, so happy. This is the Glossier Super Bounce Serum. So this is their, Hyl I always say it wrong, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin B5. After I went for a few consultations for my skin, and you know, as I said, I've been having treatments and things, they really recommended a hyaluronic acid serum. Um, and I didn't have one in my collection at the time, so I went on to Glossier and I ordered this. I thought I'd try a new one out, and I loved it, loved it. Like, it's very simple, it's just like a very hydrating, uh, it's a very hydrating layer of moisture that you're adding into your skin and it helped a lot over kind of this, those uh, winter months like January, February, um, now coming into spring. I love the packaging as well because obviously it's Glossier. <laughs> I like love everything that they that they do. Tea break. <laughs> I watched The Cure for Wellness. <laughs> Last night I was Insta story because I didn't know what to watch and I love my, I love, you know, a good thriller or a horror or something like that. I don't know why, like, I never like, re like, rom-coms or something nice. <laughs> I have to be, like, really zoned into something, like, really, like, fucked up or <laughs> weird. Sometimes I'm like, am I a sociopath? Like, I really like thrillers. Um, anyway, so, I don't know what to watch. I'm watching Dead to Me, but it's not really a thriller, it's more of a comedy. So I watched A Cure for Wellness on Netflix, but, uh... <laughs> What the f Such a weird film, like the first bit was good and I was like, oh, okay, and kind of Shutter Island-y and no, just don't, just don't watch it. What is this, what was this? <laughs> What's next, what's next? Um, oh, this is literally, I got the, uh, see, I've got more energy now, I needed that tea. <laughs> um, I literally got this the other day from Amazon because I've seen so many people using face halos on my Instagram and online and everything and I, at first I was like, Meh, like, you know, what's the big deal? And then I saw more and more people using them and I was like, okay, I need to try it out. Um, I actually ordered the pro ones by accident and then I ordered again the the originals. I actually don't know what the difference is. All I know is that these the pros are black. I don't know if there's a reason for that, let me know. Um, but I've only been using these a few days and I'm already in love. I love them. Usually I use flannels, but these are amazing and they're so much softer than my flannel so I feel like it's much nicer for my skin like with my flannels they can get a bit coarse over time whereas they are probably getting a little bit rough for my skin these are so soft like I really look forward to using it it's Lulfla oh almost done with skincare this is the last thing this is one of the only things that I mentioned that is quite new in um I literally I've only had this for a few days but I already know I'm, I love it this is new it's the calendula well, that's so hard to say, Calendula. Um, serum infused water cream. It's just everything I want from a moisturizer. I use it as a, mo a very light moisturizer, but you could probably easily layer this up and like if you feel like you need more moisture, like apply this first and then apply a heavier moisturizer if you need to. Anyway, I love this because it's so hydrating and refreshing. And it smells amazing as well. It's got that quite kind of like natural herbal sort of, not even herbal, more kind of like fresh, almost citrusy actually, more of a citrus scent. Mm. Next, I think I'll talk about this. This is very different for me to talk about. I hardly ever talk about any tanning products. So obviously I mixed. I think so many mixed girls actually do wear fake tan. It's just something I just don't, nat I've never naturally gravitated towards it. Oh my god though, this winter drained the life from me and my soul and my skin <laughs> and I was like, listen, I need some colour. Um, so I was kind of looking around for like a nice fake tan to use and the thing is I just, I just don't like the process, slathering it on and then 
like waiting and then you smell like biscuits. Then was like obviously looking around and there are so many tanning waters out now. And I tried out this one. It's the James Reed Gradual Tan Coconut Water Ta wow, this is a long name. Uh, Coconut Water Tan Mist Body, for the body. And I really have been loving this and it doesn't make me look orange because that's another thing that I'm worried about. Um, and so obviously I love it because of the smell. It smells coconutty and it doesn't really have that biscuity smell. I think literally the tiniest bit, like I think the tiniest, tiniest bit, but I, definitely nothing, like I can, I can live with it, it's okay definitely recommend this one and you know if you're mixed as well and if you've naturally got a bit of color to your skin but so you're not sure what would work what wouldn't work um give it a try i love it i might try the isle of paradise one as well actually and let you guys know what i think because that'd be interesting i think oh also it dries really quickly that's another huge thing that i like because it just dries in like a minute and then i get dressed the next thing i've been loving is this from fenty this is actually not it's not a new product this is the matchstick in truffle i have not every day been doing contour at the moment because i just feel i just can't be bothered anymore i just feel like it looks a bit too much so only every now and then i'll add a bit of contour and because we're obviously coming into summer and it's I really, I really like using the creamier products for spring summer, so this is why I've kind of gravitated towards the matchstick because I love, I love this formula because it, it's quite like a dry cream, kind of like kind of a crayony, you know, not as dry as a crayon, but it's more like a crayony sort of matchstick. Um, I love it. So when I put it on, it does look a touch bit warm on me actually, but once I blended it in, it, I think it looks fine. I'm actually gonna put it on now. Yeah, there's a few things that I think I'll put on in this video I wanted to show you. So I usually, and it looks really intense when you first put it on. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just so easy to use. I use it on my nose a little bit as well. And there, I mean, this is just a really light, light version of me doing it, but um, the other reason I really like it is because it's that nice in between of looking, of being kind of like a contour but also a bronzer because it gives you this lovely kind of natural looking. Bronze to your face. And another side favourite I wanted to mention is this brush. I got this from MAC. It's the 197 brush. So it's this kind of flat. So it's kind of flat one. I went in and I really wanted, I really wanted a brush that would be good for when I'm doing my nose. I actually don't do my nose that often. Like I kind of do my nose like once a week <laughs> or maybe if I'm filming. Um, but for when I do, I just wanted a brush that worked for it and that wasn't too big. Um, and this one makes it so easy. I love it. Tell a lie, this is another, this is the actual bronzer that I've been using so much. So I was sent this over by, I know a lot of these things I was sent over, but that is that is how I get a lot of my makeup in, you know. Sometimes I'll be shopping around in person and see things, but because I get sent over quite a few bits, it's like I obviously wanna try everything out and not waste it. So yeah, that's why this end, ends up happening. But Benefit sent me this over again a few weeks ago, and it, it has been my go-to bronzer ever since they sent it. I haven't used Used another one the one I was using before I just like chucked it in my um in my drawers and I was like bye so they came out with some new shades of their like classic hula bronzer um I think I've mentioned this before in another video but this is the color that I felt like worked really well for me and my skin and it's got a bit of warmth to it as well I'm just gonna add a little bit on I really like that it's such a it's almost like a creamy um powder it's a very soft powder, so it's really easy to work with. I guess there's not too much to say, like, you know, Hula Bronzer has been out there for years. It's such a cult, like, beauty product, so I obviously don't need to tell you that much about it, but if, again, if you are on the lookout for a darker bronzer, and, like, if you find it hard for bronzers to show up on you, this one definitely shows up on me, so... I've been loving that. Quick one that I wanted to mention, because, again, I have mentioned it in a few other videos, but... Uh, oh, another Benefit product is the Benefit Roller Liner. Usually my go-to is L'Oreal Super Liner. Um, I haven't used it for ages. I love, I love this. Um, looks like this and 
it is so precise and I love how how small the tip goes because my L'Oreal one doesn't go that small so it's not it doesn't give you that really precise tip at the end there and it's just so easy to use so lovely to because um, you know a lot of liners can be a little bit awkward to hold so it makes it harder to get that perfect line when you lift upwards it's such a simple product but there's something about it that makes doing your liner so easy and I'll definitely repurchase this I know I'm definitely gonna forget something and then I'll be so annoyed with myself that always happens this hourglass setting powder um, so it's another thing again that has totally replaced one of my most loved products so I mean I still love it but the Charlotte Tilbury uh, I can't remember the full name now, but the pressed powder. I actually bring it with me day to day, um, but when I'm doing my makeup at home, this is always now what I actually set my face with. Um, the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. <sighs> I've tried so many translucent setting powders and usually they go, ev like it's more like the process of using them that puts me off. Um, they go everywhere, you end up with like a cloud of powder everywhere, like I find them stressful to use. Um, so usually I see setting loose ones and I'm like, no. I heard that this one was good, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. Love it. It is so fine. Um, it doesn't look powdery at all on the skin. It just, it sets so flawlessly and it's still, like your, your skin still looks like skin. And for me, like it doesn't, <laughs> like, it doesn't go everywhere. Some of them, when I open them up, even it's just like, pfft. like I love the packaging. I love everything about it. Hourglass do such amazing products as well. So <sighs> the only thing is, it's obviously really pricey. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> Lastly, is a perfume. Oh, I love you. This is the Replica Whispers in the Library perfume, and it is since I've got this. It's all I've been wearing. I've loved Replica fragrances for years. Like when they first came out, I was so obsessed with so many of them. Um, and so this is the newer one that they've bought out. I really like that they kind of, they kind of create like a story and a place and everything behind their scents. So for this one, it says provenance and period, Oxford 97, um, fragrance description, paper and waxed wood. And it's um, a unisex fragrance as well. Obviously, I'm going to butcher the explanation of this, so I'm going to put it in the video so you guys can see, probably here, <laughs> so you can read what the actual notes are. Oh, yeah. I love those fragrances that have different layers to them, that are kind of like spicy, peppery, woody, um, the ones that smell a bit more masculine, like a bit more unexpected for you to wear, especially like as a woman. If you're ever around a counter that has this, I think they sell it in like um, Selfridges. Yeah, go give it a sniff. Well, let me know what you thought about it because I'm just in love. Like if I was to bring out a perfume, this, this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. It was so nice to just chat about some things that I've been loving. Let me know what you've been loving. Let me know if you've tried any of these things and if you, you know, what, what you think of them or if you've got really different opinions on them, that would be really helpful. Leave it down below. Um, and yeah, everything I've mentioned in the video, I'll link down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.